What is collaborative advantage? Well, this is simply a form of competitive advantage that you achieve through collaboration with others. And in strategy, this generally means you are either collaborating with a competitor out in the marketplace or some provider of complementary goods and services. But in essence, you are each pursuing a unique interest of your own that can be furthered by joining together in your efforts. Partnerships, joint ventures, or other forms of strategic alliances are examples of organizations trying to seek some sort of collaborative advantage. That is, they're unifying their efforts to achieve their individual interests, but also the interests of each collectively. Now, there are several fundamental tenets of collaborative advantage. One, collaboration is still a form of competition in nature. That is, you are still trying to promote your own interest and you're trying to promote your interest at the expense of others. It's just you're not promoting your interest at the expense of the group or firm or individual that you're collaborating with. And in order to do this, you generally have to have differing interests that are promoted by the collaboration because one party is able to usurp whatever they are looking for where the other party does not need that, that thing, that uh, relationship, that supply channel, that access to markets, whatever. But the other side is able to take from the relationship what they need and the other side doesn't need it. So it's that same situation back and forth or vice versa. Harmony is not a good measure for success. That is just because you're getting along well in a collaboration doesn't mean the collaboration is going well. That is that comes back to the uh, school of thought that some level of conflict, some level of competition is absolutely necessary to once again promote the overall well-being of everyone, but also to make improvements to continue the quality of what you're doing. Okay, cooperation should be limited in terms of compromise. You should be compromising your position when you can still promote your interest and the other side can still promote their interest. But to compromise at your own expense just for the benefit of the other side where you're getting no advantage by doing so, once again, is so that should be kept to a minimum. Remember, the collaboration is based upon both sides moving their position upward. A level of cooperation is necessary, but one party giving up something, compromising to the other side's position, whereby the other side is gaining and you're not or you're actively losing, once again, kept to a minimum. And then learning from the other side is fundamental. That is, you're picking up the things that they're doing right. You're learning how they're doing it. So if you had to break away from the partnership, you could do it better. So the collective learning that happens there is extremely important once again. So these are the uh, core or fundamental tenets that you'll see as part of collaborative advantage.